Hello there. Today's video is a rather interesting one. What we're going to do is we're going to pause an application so it's not consuming our CPU. Now this is very useful if you've got an intensive Mac application that you want to stop temporarily but not quit. Now by pause an application it'll free up your CPU and then the second you restart it it'll continue from where it left off. To pause an application, we are going to use Terminal. Open Terminal in your Applications Utilities folder. I've got it on the dock for quick, easy access. Now what we're going to do is going to write kill all hyphen stop all in capitals, that's important, and then iTunes, small i, big T. I'm not 100% sure if you actually have to spell iTunes with the correct capitalization, however it helps. Now, if you notice the visualizer on the left, when I hit enter, it is paused. Now, if you're also listening to some music, the music would also pause. If this is any other application, whatever it is doing, it would pause instantaneously. Now, if we want to restart it, we can do. Type in kill all hyphen, and then write in cont, C-O-N-T. Now, that stands for continue. A quick way of right, type, getting back to that is to press the up arrow. Now the second I hit enter, the visualizer has started again. As a result, the app has also started. Music will be playing, for example. Now this happens with any application. The majority of applications will accept this pause and continue fine. However, there is one or two that may crash. However, this is very rare. There is also a second way of doing this. The kill all application is looking for the word iTunes. Now if you don't know what iTunes is or how to spell it, we can do it with something what's called a PID number. Now this is a specific number designated to the application. So for example in Activity Monitor, which is located in your Applications Utilities folder again, you'll notice that iTunes has a PID number of 13520. So now within terminal again, I write kill then stop then this number which is 13520 and it's paused. Now you'll notice we've used kill instead of kill all. Kill all will find everything it can with the application name iTunes. Kill will just find the application which has that PID number. So for example if you've got two iTunes is open or two applications open and you only want to pause one out of the two you'd use kill and the PID number rather than kill all. Kill all as it suggests you're trying to find everything and kill it. To restart again you write kill C O N T and then the PID number and hit enter and we're back to where we were. Both do exactly the same things, it's just different ways of doing it. I prefer the kill all technique as it will always find it, however that only works really with names you know. The kill with the PID number is correct in finding that specific application. That also works very well if you've got one PID that's using all of your CPU.